So hey guys, this is the another video tutorial of Windows System Programming. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create hard link. So hard link is a, a file can have a two different name. Hard link only created for file, not for directory. And if you delete the original file, then you will be accessed the hard link file. And uh, it's created in a memory, just like in a physical memory. If you see the diagram, here is one uh, existing file. Uh, the name of this file is a.txt and memory address is 0x1000 and if you create the hard link of that file so new file will be b.txt and memory address will be different so if you delete uh, suppose original file then you will be able to access the new file that is the benefit of the hard link file so see here this is the create hard link api function it tells that establish a hard link between an existing file and the new file so this is the syntax of that function create hard link and uh, first argument is the file name so here we have to in first argument we have to specify that uh, our hard link file name second argument is existing file name and third argument is security attribute so we have to keep here null and the return type of that function is the bool and uh, if the function succeeds the return value is non-zero if the function fails the return value is zero and we can get uh, the error number with the help of get last error function so let's start our coding create hard link first argument is the file name so i'll specify your path go to it and open folder in file project directory so here i'm creating one notepad file and name would be test file.txt and I'm writing some string message that's it just copy this path so first argument second argument is existing file name so our existing file name is test.txt third argument is a security attribute so we have to write here null start condition if anything goes wrong then we can print our error number with the help of get last error function and success so we have done our coding here so go to build build our solution so now build succeeded go to debug start debugging see create hard link success so go to that folder here and if you see hard link file has successfully created and it contains the same string hello this is the example of hard link file so suppose I want to delete the original file this is the original file so if I delete this then I'm able to access the hard link file that is the benefit of a hard link file so thanks for watching this video